Hello everybody, this is Tim, and this is just a quick video to show how to manage language resets uh, when the user changes their languages. I'm going to run this application, and we can see that it's in German, and I can navigate back and forth. And let's say that I don't really want to uh, have this app in German, and I remind myself that, oh, I just need to go change my language preferences. So I'm going to go change my language preferences and say, well, English is my primary language. And let's go back to this application. And I can see, well, it's still in German because the application didn't uh, refresh its resources. Now, if I restart the application, we can see that it's in English, uh, but I didn't want to have to stop and restart the application. So what you as an app developer can do is basically go in and add a couple lines of code. Uh, number one, add this resource manager qualifier values map changed, and then go ahead and uh, add the event for that. Um, and in the event, just set the reset context. Now what this does is that anytime a qualifier changes, um, we'll get this event, and we'll go ahead and reset the cache, and so we'll get the new values. So let's start the application now again, and we'll start in English this time. We can see that it's uh, back in English. And now if I go back and change the language to German, without having to restart the app, the initial view is still going to be in English, but any subsequent view is now back in uh, German, which matches my language preference. Switch back to English, and you can see the resources are reset. So there you go. There's a simple way of um, using the reset function to reset the cache when a qualifier changes. Hope you found this helpful.